There's nothing particularly exceptional about the outside of this Lemon Grove business, but inside, Malou Gibson is channeling a bundle of entrepreneurial energy. For eight months, Gibson has run her massage therapy business here. The building is an anchor for Gibson's fledgling business that she's sharing with other women that she met in the microloan program. That desire to open a wellness center expanded to actually have a wellness center and a bazaar inside the wellness center from the woman for the women. So that's, you know, what got me inspired to say, yeah, yeah, it's time to do it. Let's, let's get focused and get done. Bric-a-brac, beauty supplies, and aromatic wonders fill this small lobby. The wellness center offers a variety of services and products made possible with the support, connections, and small loans coming from the Foundation for Women. It's hard, but it's detailed, so it's been helping us to build up business-wise. You know, so we got the structure. We just have to uphold it and you know, grow up on it. And we have people that has come from all roads of life and all kinds of experience that bring something to the table that is very important. The San Diego-based foundation began raising money in 1997 to help women struggling with poverty in Liberia. Success there got them thinking about other places where they could have an impact. Wait a minute. <laughs> San Diego has a lot of poor women here. Why aren't we doing something here? Judy B. is the foundation's chief operating officer. She says a 2009 study by the Women's Foundation of California found 250,000 San Diego women live below the poverty line, and 84,000 women don't have enough money to meet their basic economic needs. She says that was enough to start a microlending program here, and the program has already made about 500 loans. When you come to the foundation, you become a member of a group of five women. You're there for four weeks, you get to know them, they get to know you. Very often, one of those women has referred you. And at the end of those four weeks, you stand up and say, I need a $250 loan and I plan to do this. And we have a show of hands of the women in their group. The next loan might be $500 or $1,000 or it could be denied. San Diego State University professor Chuma Sundramuti says that's the strength of a social business system. You give them access to credit so they can actually start their own business. You unleash the entrepreneurial energy, which in turn helps them become self-sufficient. She says the women also understand the unique economic opportunities available in their communities. In addition, uh, they could wind up employing their neighbor or friends as they do well. So there again, this job creation at a very small level. Sundra Muti says it's interesting that microloans were conceived in developed countries as a way to fight crushing poverty in undeveloped nations. Now, that innovation has made its way back to a developed economy as a poverty-fighting tool.